Hey there fellas, welcome back to the channel where we explore the twists and turns of life challenges. Today we're diving deep into the mysterious world of addiction. But don't worry, we've got a life boat filled with humour and insight to keep us afloat. Now, addiction is a real struggle for many people out there. They find themselves caught in a never-ending cycle, desperately trying to gain control, but slipping back into old habits. It's like riding a roller coaster that never seems to reach the end. We all want the best for our loved ones who are suffering from addiction. We see the risks, the pain, and the suffering they endure. And it breaks our hearts. But there's a million dollar question. Can we help them if they don't want help themselves? It's a tough nut to crack. You know, it's trying to teach a cat to do your taxes. No matter how hard you try to explain deductions and exemptions, that kitty just won't budge. And it's the same with addiction. If someone doesn't have the inner spark to change their life, well, it's like talking to a wall made out of concrete. Now, there's some scientific mumbo jumbo on this topic, with studies showing mixed results. Some say that persons willing to change is vital for sexual treatment. They need to bring that A game to recovery table. It's like trying to win a game on a twister without any limbs. Not an easy task, right? But wait. There's another study that challenges this idea. They find that even if the person with addiction isn't initially motivated to change, interventions targeting their family members can still make a difference. It's like convincing your mom to switch to a vegan diet by showing her pictures of cute animals. Sneaky, but effective. So you might be wondering, how did I manage to break free from my own addiction but yeah, every time I failed, I felt like I was auditing for a most president failure lead. But here's the secret sauce, my friends. I had to dig deep into my past and have a serious talk with my younger self. Turns out everyone has a story and it's what makes us who we are. Some of us change while others stay stuck in the quicksand of addiction. We've all heard that live in the present forget the past. Sounds easy peasy, right? Well, it turns out it's harder than finding Waldo in a sea of identical twins. Not everyone goes through tough times and ends up addicted. Some superheroes handle their past with grace, while others struggle to find their ways. So why do some folks keep swimming in the mercury waters of the past and get hooked onto addiction? Well, for me, it all came down to different reasoning. Reasons begin at addiction and reasons to maintain it. You see, when I first started down with Trancho's Path, I knew exactly what addiction would bring into my life. It was like ordering a toxic milkshake with a side of self-destruction. Yummy, right? But in those dark moments, I felt survival wasn't even an option. And as I continued down the rabbit hole, addiction became my escape from past emotions. It was like a temporary vacation from my own feelings. But let's not forget, my friends, not all vacations are created equal. Some all inclusive trips to the land of misery. So what makes the difference between some who decide that they can't survive any longer and someone who faces their emotions head on? It's a question that I can stump even the smartest of fortune tellers. The answer lies in something we all possess, our mindset. Now, there's this brilliant psychologist named Carol Dweck, who's done some serious digging on this topic. She even wrote a book called Mindset, The New Psychology of Success. It's a treasure map leading us to the secrets of the human mind. Dweck talks about two mindsets, the fixed mindset and the growth mindset. The fixed mindset is like a stubborn donkey that refuses to budge. It believes change is impossible. Like 
trying to teach a dog to meow. Silly, right? But hold on to your hats, my friends, because the growth mindset is where the magic happens. It's like opening Pandora's box of endless possibilities. With a growth mindset, you believe anything is possible and you can develop your abilities through effort, learning and persistence. When I was drowning in my depths of addiction, my mindset was as fixed as a statue. I believed that self-destruction was my only destiny. But once I embraced the growth mindset, I saw my recovery as a mountain to climb with challenges and victories along the way. Sure, I stumbled and fell more times than clumsy penguins on an ice rink. But instead of giving up, allowing in self-pity, I dusted myself off and continued my journey. I claimed my victories one step up time until I reached the peak of addiction-free living. It wasn't easy, my friends. It was trying to juggle flaming torches while riding a unicycle. But by changing my perspective, putting in front to learn new skills and persisting, even when things got tough and started seeing progress. And let me tell you, those small victories felt like winning an Oscar. They motivated me to keep me going like a hamster on a wheel, only without the whole maternity part. Plus, my brain rewarded me with a dopamine boost, keeping me motivated and hungry for more. Now, you might be wondering, how can you help your loved ones build a mindset, a growth one? Telling someone what to do rarely works, but showing them, ah, now we're talking. You need to be there for them, supporting and motivating without becoming the personal cheerleader. It's like guiding them through a maze without taking over the controls. Remember, change takes time. As we know, Rome wasn't built in a day. And addiction recovery is like assembling a thousand pieces of a puzzle blindfolded. But if you're willing to go the extra mile for the loved one, well, they might just find their way to a growth mindset. So my fellow adventurers, we've reached the end of this epic journey through the maze of addiction. Remember, it's up to the person struggling with the addiction to make the decision to change. But when your support and a sprinkle of growth mindset magic can be their guided light in the darkest of times. Thanks for joining us today. And if you enjoyed this adventure, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more exciting journeys ahead. Until next time, stay curious, stay courageous and keep conquering life's challenges with a smile.